why Chelsea plays so good? Because they have three central defender closers, the two holding midfielders, relating move closers, the pockets closer. They have a structure of five and two players so, so close. And the distances... I think it's time for Pep Guardiola to make another version of this. This time, it's gonna be why Chelsea are so bad. Because that Chelsea so good video is just uh, too old now. <laughs> it's like 100 years ago when we used to beat them. We beat them three times in one season. Can you believe it? And we took the Champions League away from them. But after that honeymoon period, they came back and uh, they made us pay because they are beating us for fun at the moment. So we need to find another version of why Chelsea are so bad at the moment. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyways, people, so as you all know, we are live every single day on Soccer IQ YouTube channel. Okay? Or Global Fans Channel GFC. The link in the description down below join us daily for watch alongs you know champions league europa league premier league you name it Co no more calling shows you know like if we have uh, any topic trending we we are always live there and uh the link always provided for people to call us for free so come join us and have your say okay thank you so much my friends and don't forget to like subscribe and share very very important because youtube algorithm now is just crazy so if you want to help the channel all you have to do is to take one second of your life click that like button anyways people this video is about head to head you know just to compare uh the form of two teams city and Chelsea Football Club to give you an idea what kind of uh, uh, team we're going to be facing this weekend. But before anything, I will remind you the table here. Manchester City are first. They played 35 games. They have one game in hand compared to Arsenal. And they have already 80, 85 points. So if they beat Chelsea... That's it. I think they're going to win the league. Arsenal are second. 36 games played with uh, hmm, 81 points. Arsenal, the biggest bottle job of the history. In the history of the Premier League. Excuse me. And look at Chelsea. The almighty Blues. 11th. <laughs> We've been 11th for the entire freaking season. Lord have mercy. So... On Sunday, it's going to be Manchester City against the Chelsea at Etihad Stadium. And that, I don't know the result tonight because by the time I'm recording this video, uh, Manchester City need to play against the Real Madrid. So we don't know who's going to qualify. But I predicted that Manchester City to go through. And they might win the Champions League this season. Yaya Toure curse is already over. So they might win it this season. Anyways, so head to head. Just to compare some statistics between the two teams, right? Look at the recent meetings here. Let's start by the bottom one. Uh, this was... Uh, January 2021, Manchester City came to the bridge and completely destroyed Chelsea Football Club 3 1. And then, oh, uh, Saturday, May the 8th, 2021, Manchester City 1, Chelsea 2. We went away and we beat them. So, yeah. We got a revenge here. And then at Stamford Bridge, that was September 2021. Chelsea 0, 
Manchester City won. And then we went away. It was January 2022. Manchester City won. Chelsea 0. And then the last time we played against them, it was this January 2023 at Stamford Bridge. They beat us 1-0. And I'm not even mentioning other competitions like the FA Cup or the Carabao Cup. So in the last 10 games or competitions, I think they beat us like seven times. We beat them three times during Thomas Tuchel honeymoon period. And yeah, and also Lampard. I think we beat them four times in the last, I don't know, 15 games. Lampard also beat them 2-1. Remember Christian Pulisic and all that. So, ah, uh, as you can tell, and let's go to um, the form guide from each team, you know. If you, you look at Manchester City here, in the last uh, five games, in the Premier League, they won five. Chelsea only won one game. They, they lost three and they drew one. It tells you that like, there is no even comparison here. Okay, no matter who is in charge on who was going to be in charge, Manchester City is always a danger. But you never know. It's football you can you can win on your day, you know. Who knows? An early penalty for Chelsea and then you close the shop and then you win the game. Nobody knows, but logically, my friend, logically, let's be honest here, there is no even comparison. Manchester City been together for seven years with the same manager, the same players. All they do is adding more quality and more quality. And Chelsea, <laughs> been like 100 managers, different players, always suck, suck, suck all the time. No long-term project. And we are, we are paying the price at the moment. Anyways, my people, so uh, let me go ahead and check on what happened at Stamford Bridge the last time we played against them. We lost 1-0. Uh, Mares scored in the 63rd minute and Jack Grealish uh, had an assist. And De Bruyne, of course, he hit Chelsea because of what we did to him. And uh, now... We are, we are crying because we made uh, a very, very bad decision of letting him go and, and Salah and all that. So, yeah, 1-0 at the bridge. Um, I think they didn't even go to the second gear. You know, they were just like saving energy. That's why they only won 1-0. And guess what? Erling Haaland hasn't scored against Chelsea Football Club. And he scored like 35 goals already in the Premier League this season. He played, he scored more goals than, than games played. So, you know that what, what that means, right? <laughs> you know what that means? Nobody, everybody that is struggling, if you can't score, if you have bad time, you play against Charity FC and then you are going to to have your chance raheem sterling both times like the first time we played them away i think he wasn't fit he's that was before the world cup he said no he doesn't feel good the second time he played at the bridge against his old club city he got injured christian Pulisic also got injured in the same game remember so yeah we've been really unlucky very very unlucky not really unlucky because we are poor compared to them but we don't know what's gonna happen and nathan uh, nathan Ake, remember him made in chelsea through and through and now he's one of the best in the premier league playing for manchester city so if chelsea fans don't really learn that 
being from the academy is not a, a crime give them a chance i don't know if you don't learn anything this season about you know getting on players cases because of their nationalities and then i don't know when you're gonna learn all right people so that game that game let's go to a little bit of statistics here before this video gets too long so manchester city had 52 percent chelsea 47 shot on target manchester city three chelsea two shot all together 12 for manchester city eight only for chelsea football club so this video my friend is just to show you how far we are compared to manchester city and we have to work very hard to get in this level it's gonna take years under pochettino or under whoever is gonna be in charge to build a team like this manchester city probably we spent more money than them but they are more stable than us because of recruitment and because of long-term project if roman abramovich accepted to take probably one season off to build a dynasty right now we were going to win probably 30 or 50 trophies back to back to back probably five or six champions league because we had the money we had anything everything to to build something for years and years but we decided to go only for shortcut quick fix win a trophy now 18 months later sack the manager get a little bit of momentum go through another crisis buy a, a, a bunch of dead wood force them to win a trophy and going through the cycle over and over and over again now we are paying the price of our own stupidity but because we are used to that chaos anything that has to do with or any kind of process we don't accept it because that is not what we know it is what it is